Welcome to Focus Today. I'm your host, Perry Atkinson, and delighted to have in the studio with me today a couple of gentlemen. We're going to talk about Christian education and one of the base, uh, best uh, organizations in, in Oregon, right here in Southern Oregon. Dr. Ken Townsend's with us today. He's head of Christian schools at Grace Cascade Christian Schools, right here, Dr. Townsend. And Dave T uh, Fennell, he's director of advancement for Grace Cascade Christian School. Gentlemen, thanks. For thanks coming. for having us on. Very good yes. to see you. Yes, thank you. Uh, Christian education. Um, boy, I've never seen the demand higher. What is it? How would you describe Christian education? Well, uh, before I say anything to um, articulate what Christian schooling is, let me, let me say that God calls people to be pastors and He calls them to the mission field. Right. And we respect both. God calls teachers to teach in the Christian school, and God calls teachers to teach in the public school. Right. The public school is a mission. The Christian school is like being a pastor. Oh, yeah. So, Great uh, analogy. yes, this is, uh, but there are distinct differences, especially when it comes to our faith and what is allowed in a public school and what is not. Right. The Christian school. Uh, would believe that children are the responsibility of parents, not the state. They would believe that their faith uh, is every bit as important as what they learn. The Bible teaches us that what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Faith matters. Right. And if you trade, the, the trade-off between what happens in this world and what happens forever who wouldn't make the trade? Wow. Yes. Great analogy. That's good stuff. Dave, you've been around this a long time. Yeah. You're very much involved in it. You're very excited about it. Um, and a lot of parents are concerned about it. I know they want to see their child. How's, how's that looking for you? I know the school's going. How are the numbers? You know, our admission numbers are up. We're actually having to cap certain classrooms. I think Dr. Townsend, you know, he's really coming in and bringing a concept called understanding by design which is very, uh, it's exciting. I mean, I'm not a guy who likes to sit in meetings and I'll walk by meetings Dr. Townsend has given and I'm sitting there just in awe by what our teachers are being empowered to do. So we're really seeing, uh, you know, one thing that Dr. Townsend and I were talking about is the whole sense of purpose, right? And uh, when you look at young people out there that they don't know what their purpose is. They're not being taught that God has actually made them for a specific purpose. And when families come, because I'm also the director of admissions, I give all the tours at our school. It's very fascinating kids that are coming to us and their families, they really want that Christian education that's more than just academics. And we do, academically, we are very strong. We're going to get stronger. But that sense of having teachers and those pastors in your kids' lives, that can help shepherd them, right? It's about voices in your kids' lives. Mm. And I'll tell you, at Grace and Cascade, our teachers and our staff, uh, they're the best at that. So, All right. Let's back up a little bit, Dr. Townsend, because uh, the Grace Cascade Christian Schools, you go from kindergarten all the way through high school, we right? We do. So you got three separate schools. We do. All right. Explain that. Well, we have an elementary. Mm -hmm. uh, it's our Grace Christian. Right. We have a middle school and a high school, our secondary, which is Cascade, mm -hmm. and uh, provide uh, outcomes for K through fifth, and we have outcomes uh, for 12th grade. Now, in the offerings of classes that get into middle school and high school, you got the full gamut. We do. You got everything. We do. So there's no restrictions, really, or limitations. No, we have uh, partnerships with RCC for uh, industrial and medical. Um, students can get up to 50 concurrent college credits while they're in high school. Wow. So. Uh, we have we have the most dedicated teachers. Of course, I would feel that way. I'm sure that every principal would <laughs> right, enjoy right. their teachers, but I'm I'm amazed at the ded dedication of our teachers. The other thing is, and maybe Dave, you can speak to this because I know you've been involved in it. A lot of people say you guys have an athletic program. You know we do, and I think whether or not it's athletics or it's the arts, we would use the term co-curricular, right? That we're not done educating kids till 10 or 11 o'clock at night. And I look at the sports programs at Cascade. You know, now we have Nate Maven, our new athletic director. It, is ha it has to be the best sports experience a young person can have. And what I mean by that is we have coaches who don't have kids because they want to build programs. We have coaches who have programs because they want to build kids. And that is radically different. I look at a John Getman. I look at a Brian Morris. I look at a Rob Clucker, a, a Becky Abbott. These amazing men and women. I could go on about every coach there. 
you watch the process that a young person goes through under the mentorship and the discipleship of those, of those coaches. And it's like Dr. Townsend said, these are pastors loving these kids, walking life with them. And the fascinating thing with our alumni, when they come back, they're coming back to see the teachers. They're coming back to see the coaches. So it just doesn't end at graduation for our students. Well, I'll give you an, an example of that is we had a teacher in the school whose house burned down. Mm. The cheerleading team heard about this. The very first thing that they wanted to do was take all of their summer fundraising efforts mm. and give it to this family. Mm. That's fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful. Academically, you are very competitive. And we can speak to that. Uh, we offer AP classes, and I'll use this as an example, um, of the students that took the hardest calculus class that we offer. <laughs> I can't they, even they, spell it they, they, <laughs> they, they, have to, they have to take an exam at the end of, of their time, and every one of our students earned college credit through their I exam scores, and if you compared them across the nation, everyone sitting for the same test, we were in the upper 17% of the country. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. All right. Uh, who, how early should they start in Christmas school? I know you go all the way down to kindergarten, but is, is that a good place to start? Well, we actually, Perry, go all the way down to preschool. Okay. So, I know. I like to keep you on your toes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You do a good <laughs> job with that. But you get a lot of people that will transfer in later on in life. And yeah. is that transition hard? You know what? What we've seen, I would share, uh, since I've taken over in missions, We've seen a lot of transfer at grade levels that aren't normal, like seventh grade, junior. I mean, our seventh grade class at Grace that we had to cap enrollment, that there's just, we don't have enough space. So parents are transferring them over. They're transferring them over because of what's going on in culture. And then yeah. really, uh, uh, juniors in high school, we're seeing our junior class explode. Well, that's not norm for the admission process. So, and what I've seen, what we've seen when kids transfer in, they're integrated into our school very quickly. There really is a great community of belonging. And, uh, and we've seen that at the middle school, especially when kids will transfer in mid-year to end of year, uh, which is, middle school years can be very tricky, yeah. uh, to use that word, but it goes well. A Couple other things then, Dr. Townsend, maybe you can address this. Sometimes what you hear about transferring in, students going to a Christian school, oh, you're sheltering them, mm -hmm. okay. Or it's a great place to go because it's a reformatory. Mm -hmm. I know those are two things you get all the time, but mm -hmm. explain that. So we just sur surveyed our um, families, and one of the questions that we ask is, does your child feel that they have an adult advocate in the school? Overwhelmingly, um, our family's um, children feel that they have an adult who cares for them in the school. Right. If you want to ask the question on sheltering, I would argue that public school shelter because you, you ask the question, does God exist? Is mm -hmm. God real? If you answer yes to that, yet you cross the threshold of a public school and they cannot bring God into it, even to the point of history teachers cannot show the Constitution to their students because God is listed in there. So they're being sheltered from that. They're being sheltered from the real world. Yeah. You can't take sin out of people. Even the godly teachers that we have that are in front of these students still have a sin nature. They're not being sheltered. Mm -hmm. But what we are addressing is every worldview that you can imagine and teaching the Christian worldview, of course, alongside those, showing the strengths and weaknesses of all, mm. showing uh, in origins, how did we get here? Mm -hmm. Did we evolve? Did we, or are we fearfully and wonderfully made, as the Bible says? And then showing the strengths and weaknesses of those positions and addressing in apologetics the defense of our faith. Wonderful. Well, I want to say to our viewers and listeners, um, this is the time, if you've been thinking about it, do it now. Because you Now's guys, the time, yes sir. You can come over and do, see the schools. They can, yeah, yeah, they can call. We actually will give personal tours to families who are interested. Sarah Bailey, my admissions assistant, does a great job. You know, we follow up within 24 hours. And it's exciting, Perry. I mean, I mean, right now we are seeing such an interest. I think parents are understanding this is a time to invest in, in their children. Mm -hmm. I, like, I look at about our 61 seniors. I mean, they were awarded just under $4 million in scholarships. They accepted just under two. And we're sending kids into full-time ministry, uh, military, vocation. So it, we say we're a small school with big opportunities. And as we look at our students, we're excited 
about what God is doing in them and through them. And, and the schools are really, really coming to life. Um, th that's really one thing that I'm really seeing right now. All right, you can go to gracechristian.org. That's the, the landing page for, for the schools. There's a picture of the landing page there. Check it out. But if you're thinking about it, boy, don't wait. Now's a good time to check out the facilities, check out the curriculum, check out the staff. Dr. Townsend's here, uh, Dave's there. And get a tour, take a look at it, perfectly consider this. I know that you have some scholarship programs that we are do. available. Yes, yeah. we're moving toward a variable tuition so that it's affordable for all. That's great. And here's an amazing statistic if I could share. Sure. About 50 to 70 percent of our uh, youth are walking away from the church. Mm. 86 percent of that are students who are graduates of public schools. Seven percent is represented of those who are graduating from a Christian school. 80%, 7%. Yes. That's a huge difference. Yes. Well, another reason to perfectly consider this, and now's the time. So go to gracechristian.org, check it out, call Dave and his team, get a tour. And from, I'm being corrected here, preschool through high school, you Nicely can get done. it checked out. <laughs> so you got the, the day school, go the, the uh, Elementary school, middle school, and high school, all three of them. What's your total enrollment are going to be? 650. Wow. That's a lot. And climbing. And climbing. Which is a good thing. Wow. That's a good thing. All right. Thank you guys for being hey, with us. Hey, thank you, Perry. Thank you. We'll be right back.